What's going on guys? My name's Caffrey and today I'm going to show you the quickest and most simple way to install Apex Legends R5 Reloaded and the Flow State Aim Trainer. Now I'm making this video because I know a lot of my friends that have tried to install this have had a lot of bugs, a lot of errors, and a lot of issues because some of the tutorials out there are either out of date or they're just long and confusing. So this is going to be the quickest, most up-to-date guide for installing R5 Reloaded. So before we get started, you're going to need four things. Number one, you need at least 43 gigabytes of storage space on your hard drive. Number two, you need a program to open zip files. For this tutorial, I recommend using WinRAR. Number three, you need the EA app or the Origin Launcher. And number four, you're going to need an alt account, but more on that later. So first, we need to download the Apex Legends R5 base game. Links for everything will be in the description. Now that we've got that file downloaded, we're going to go ahead and unzip it with WinRAR. And we're just going to grab it drag it over to a convenient location where we can access it because we're going to be swapping some of the files out. I recommend having some coffee while you wait. Now the next thing that you're going to need is the SDK files, which is titled depot.zip. Head over to the GitHub. Again, check the link in the description for the SDK. It's called depot.zip and you're going to download this right here. Now that you've got the depot.zip file downloaded, again, go ahead and extract it with WinRAR. And what you're going to do is select all of these files, including the one that has the dot dot at the top, just to make sure that we keep the file path intact. And you're going to drag and drop it over into your R5 Reloaded folder. And make sure when you drop it, you drop it into the base file and not in any one of these folders right here. Now, when it's copying these files over, it's going to give you a message to ask if you want to replace files with the same name. And you're going to go ahead and click yes, replace files in the destination. Now, if all you're looking for is to install R5 Reloaded, to boot it up, play on some of the community-made servers, the 1v1s and all the mods, then you're good to go. You click off this video. But if you want to get the Flow State Aim Trainer installed, stick around for the next part of this video. Now, the next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need the Flow State Aim Trainer files. For that, we're going to head over to the GitHub. Again, make sure you check the link in the description. And when you get here, what you want to do is you want to click on this green button that says code, and you want to download the zip file. So once you have that file downloaded, again, open it with WinRAR, click into this folder that says R5 Flow State, and you're going to go back over to your R5 Reloaded folder, and you're going to go into Platforms and Scripts. Now, you're going to go ahead, select all of the scripts, go ahead and delete those. And then we'll go back to WinRAR, select all of these. These are the flow state scripts. We're going to drag them in. Now that the scripts are done being copied over, you want to click back into your base R5 Reloaded folder because we have one more step to do. And this is the final step where if you don't do this, you're going to get a lot of failed to load game engine and you're going to have a lot of missing file errors. And this is where a lot of people get tripped up because this has been updated since some of the tutorials that are already on YouTube went up. The last thing that we need is we need to go back to the GitHub page where we got the flow state files. We're going to go back to the page where we clicked the green code button, but this time we're going to go over to the releases and click latest. And you need to scroll to the bottom until we get to flow state dash required files zip and you need to download that file now that we have the required files downloaded you're going to open them again with winrar and this is the last step it's super easy you're just going to select all these drag them into the base file it's going to copy them over and you're going to select replace files and destination now if you followed everything correctly you should be able to launch the game but before we do, we need to make that alt account that we talked about. Make sure that you have either the EA app or the Origin Launcher installed. And what I recommend doing is I use a password manager so I can easily swap between my accounts by copying the login information. But if you don't have that and it's not something that you want to do, uh, I recommend grabbing the notepad, going in here, typing in your username and password and saving it as a note on your computer somewhere that's easily accessible so you can just copy and paste logins back and forth. You don't necessarily need an alt account because Respawn has said that they don't plan on banning anybody, but this technically violates the terms of service. And if for some reason, if in the future the leadership or the devs change their mind and they want to start banning people, or for some reason the anti-cheat gets an update that detects your account as cheating because of this, you want to make sure that you're not getting your main account released, the one where you have all your progress and all your money spent. All right, so now that we've followed all the steps, we've gotten the game installed, the SDK files installed, the flow state scripts installed, and the required files installed, and we have our alt account, we should be good to go ahead and boot up the game. So you just double click this R5 Apex inside your folder, and the game should launch. So next, we'll go through some of the aim training playlists, some of the servers that are available. But before we do, consider dropping a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if this worked for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and consider subscribing and help me on my road to my first 1,000 subs. 
So to get into the aim trainer, all you need to do is go to create server, select your playlist, and here's the uh, here's all the playlists for you. Um, if you're looking for the aim trainer, just click flow state aim trainer, and you can change your map if you want. We're just going to leave it on Kings Canyon, click start game. So the first thing we need to do is go over to the settings and change our weapon, because by default, it's going to be the base wingman skin that you can see here. Um, and for some of these, you either for some of the aim training tasks, you probably want like an AR or an SMG. So let's just go ahead and pick the R9. And if you want to change anything on it, on it, if you want to change anything on any of the weapons, you just right click it and it gives you all the options for optics, lasers, stocks, magazines, anything that you want. So we'll just go ahead and put an optic on there. If you want to change your character, you can. We'll stick with Wraith. Um, then you have options for the armor you want the dummies to have, their base health, how fast they strafe, and uh, for some of the tasks you can control how far away they spawn. Um, and then there's a couple more settings and there's, there's a second page over here, so a um, lot to play around with. Let's just do something simple, uh, strafing dummy. I'm not gonna go through the. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but pretty straightforward. Um, again, there's tons of tasks to play with here, tons of things to tweak in the settings. So have fun with it. Let's go ahead and return to the lobby. We'll go through some of the server browsers. Um, so here are the servers. Uh, a lot of these are pretty empty most of the time, but the top five or six usually get filled. Um, if you're in North America then you want to click on the ones that say NA and CN I believe is China there's one person in here right now dude are we friends can we make friends Alrighty, well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. I'll see you in R5 Reloaded. My name is Caffrey and I'll catch you in the next one.